I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I'm going to make a list for this um, Star Wars, the, like the Rise of Star Skywalker, because, you know, I also, you know, have to make top Star Wars videos when I review things. Like, I literally have to watch movies to think about, okay, how am I going to make a list out of this? <laughs> the beat go off? Feel like I'm Goku! <laughs> But I like the film, you know. Um, um, you know, I really hope this film doesn't cause more controversy. You know, you get more um, F Disney or Social Justice Warrior channels making video after video crapping on like they did The Last Jedi. And hopefully the Rotten Tomatoes is not too bad, you know. I'm capping hard, yeah. <laughs> this thing is at like, like 55% right now or whatnot. And... Hey, man, I want to talk about it because I've been, you know, I've been on hiatus for a bit because I've been busy with finals and whatnot and just school in general, females, all a bunch of stuff, been, you know, been killing my vibe and want to make videos. And I've been away from the cameras and everything. And I just want to talk about some Star Wars. Again, I'm not the biggest Star Wars expert. You know what I mean? Like in the Star Wars fan base, man, y'all get really, really protective over y'all stuff. Just like Devil May Cry, Dragon Ball, One Punch Man, a lot of y'all. And I'm not the most, you know, expert, but I'm going to make, you know, some top strongest videos. I'm going to talk about, like, the top 10 strongest Star Wars prequels, characters, Star Wars original trilogy, then Star Wars, you know, the new trilogy, right? And I was going to really talk about how, like, pretty much new generation um, series of, like, you know, like, um, like for example, Boruto, Dragon Ball Super, Star Wars, etc. They've been kind of disappointing. Uh, but I still like Dragon Ball Super. And I really thought, since I saw, like, you know, Jeremy Johns pretty much crap all over this film. You know, just getting a lot of bad vibes. And I don't know, maybe I'm a guy who likes mediocre to bad movies because I like, you know, just the fan service and whatnot or bad shows. But I didn't think it was that bad, honestly. Um, I feel like a lot of people are kind of overreacting because they just want that feeling of like the original trilogy or they got from like the prequels. And bro, these movies are better than the prequels, bro. <laughs> like, granted, the, the prequel movie I like the most is uh, Revenge of the Sith. But other than that, bro, those other two films are bad, yo. And I really like The Force Awakens. The Last Jedi. It, it was like it was like a high A for me, then lower down to like a seven to six, right? Because just a lot of story plots were just kind of just kind of cut, just to you know, oh my god, subverted. But <laughs> with the Force Awakens, no spoilers. But the only problem with this film is the pacing is ridiculously fast. Like, because um, with Endgame and Avengers: Infinity War, the pacing was like fast, but like it was controlled. Like, it was like, for example, like, the speed limit is, like, 75. Avengers Endgame was going, like, maybe 80. Okay, like, maybe 85. <laughs> bro, Rise of Skywalker is going 90, 95, bro. Like, this transition, cut, cut, cut. Oh, we got to get this going. Um, but they, they, they did their best with what they got because, you know, the, the actress who played Leia, she passed away. Did a great job with her. You know, even though there's some things I felt like, the, you know, it would be better if she was alive, you know, RIP. But they did the best they could. Um, Ray, look, no spoilers, but y'all gonna hate me <laughs> Well, how I rank her on this list. Y'all gonna hate me. Just, I'm just gonna let you know. Y'all gonna hate me. It is what it is. I took the blows for Kefla, Kale. I took the blow, blows for Nero versus Dante. And also, if I, like, remove the comments or whatever, because, you know, like, the thing is, it's a rarity if I remove comments. It's only when I get nothing but negative comments and it's not constructive at all. And, like, because, like, you know, you get your negative comments, but it becomes, like, you know, majority. Instead of people actually caring about what you did in the video, people just like to pile on to the negativity. They have every right to remove the comments like once. Like, nigga, whoever says, um, be a man and keep that. Nigga, if you get enough views and get enough hate train, you're going to get annoyed at, like, bro, I'm, like, at, at school or I'm, like, running on track and I get every alert is, like, F you, you don't know Star Wars. You don't know this series and that series. I'm like, okay, bet. You can still watch the video. We're just tired of how y'all like, like constantly like attacking me. I have every right to do that. Get off. What, what the hell? Be a man. Nigga, suck my... Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, Ray, really powerful. Ben or Kylo. Bro, Kylo... He's really proving himself to be one of like the stronger like you know characters in the series because it's so weird how he he like he was like you know he stopped the Jedi bolt in Force Awakens then he kind of like you know got beat by Rey before like you know she even learned her powers but I think they've been like stepping up his powers each movie and I think like you know he really reached his peak in this um, Finn 
Finn, man, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. He is kind of reduced to like you know, f best friend slash you know, friend zone slash yelling black man. <laughs> that's you know what I mean. Like I love the actor, but like bro, that's mostly what he be doing. Um, Poe, I think his name is Poe. I think I, I'm, I don't know if I'm confused with Kung Fu Panda. He does a great job. You know what I mean? Like I think Finn and Poe never really reached their full potential. Well, I, I think Poe did, but like Finn, he never really reached it in my opinion. They're still helpful. Like, you know, it's still useful in the story. Um, Palpatine, you know, he's in here, no spoilers, but you know, he does his thing, you know, kind of repetitive, but he does his thing. So yeah, I just really think they did a great job of just trying their best to include fan service to have some type of conclusion, because honestly, they didn't know what the hell they was doing with this, this trilogy, they just kept on making new films, and Ryan Johnson kind of like, you know, put such a like, you know, F y'all's build up on The Last Jedi, that they didn't know what to do, and I honestly kind of glad they actually was able to figure it out, because bro, Knowing this trilogy, bro, I didn't know it was gonna be like the finality, the finale of the the Skywalker saga. It didn't even feel like that at all. <laughs> like it really, it really did it to like you know they made this film the finale because you know they want to make more movies, and not feel like you know they gotta keep me like keep like my, like fan servicing the original trilogy. They they had to do it some way, so that's how they did it. Um, so yeah, pacing. Extremely fast. It could have been done better. You know what I mean? Not on the level of like Endgame or Infinity War. Um, story. Story's pretty good. You know, it's a, I feel like it was a lot more. Like, the thing is, Force Awakens was a great setup. The Last Jedi, it just killed the setup, really. Like, it killed the, it killed the, the original setup and added a whole bunch of new setup that wasn't going to really be good for the overall story. And the Force Awakens, not the Force Awakens, then the, the Rise of Skywalker kind of finishes up, like, finishes up the... The, the build up for Force Awakens and also kind of like retcons a few of the last Jedi's while we feel some of it as well. So that's about it there. Um characters, you know what I mean? Like Ray is the most powerful she's ever been. Um Kylo's the fat uh, the most powerful she's ever been. Palpatine's Palpatine. And you know the other characters they, they do their thing. And they, the only thing I have is that they have a lot of problems with just adding mini character, mini character, mini character in there that are important to like, you know, our side characters. But don't really do it, do anything with them later because there's not enough time. You know what I mean? But yeah, I have to say that this film is definitely better than like The Last Jedi in my opinion. The Last Jedi is not trash. It just did a lot of stuff like, you know, I don't really agree with. Like, you know what I mean? I wanted to see an OP Luke Skywalker because I'm a power skiller. I love seeing that stuff, but it didn't do it. And it went more like, you know... Like you know, trans like you know, more of like a like a subliminal storytelling. Again, I like Ryan Johnson. Like, I mean, I saw like um literally Knives Out like a few days ago, and that film was amazing. Like ten out ten, it's like one of my favorite films of the year. But he just you know his style doesn't really work well with Star Wars apparently. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I would have to say this film is definitely like. I can't tell because I like I like Force Awakens here. Then is Rise of the Skywalker. Then is like um, Last Jedi. And all these films are better than majority of the prequels except Revenge of the Sith. And Revenge of the Sith is tough. I think I put Revenge of the Sith above the Last Jedi. But like there's like you know the original trilogy, then like the new trilogy, um, Rise um, Buddha, uh, blah, 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 blah. Revenge of the Sith, then Last Jedi, then the rest of the prequels. That's just how I rank them. You know what I mean? So like I guess about the rank them is like. Um, Pretty much, Emperor, Emperor, Emperor Strikes Back, um, A New Hope, uh, Return of the Jedi, um, A Force Awakens, Ri uh, Rise of the Skywalker, Revenge of the Sith, uh, The Last Jedi, and the last two prequels. Um, I guess uh, The Phantom Menace is right before last. <laughs> So yeah, definitely go check this movie out, man. You know, again, you can't be with those people that like celebrates when the movie you don't like has a low has a low ranking on like Rotten Tomatoes, but then get mad with a movie you do like has a low ranking. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man, just go watch the film, figure out if you like it yourself. You know what I mean? There's a, fair, there's a lot of fair YouTubers that don't like this uh, this movie as well, but it's like, bro, have your own opinion. So yeah, let's go to the spoilers here. Um, so yeah, Ray. <laughs> It's a Palpatine. It is weird because I never really thought it was gonna use like a Palpatine bloodline thing. But hey, they had to figure out something to justify how OP Ray's gonna be in this. Now, low high key, Ray's the strongest Jedi ever, right? The only thing you can say is stronger than her is like Anakin during like you know the whole the son, the father, and the daughter thing when he's able to overpower the son and daughter at the same time when he's like in full the chosen one mode. And Anakin, I think, is my favorite character. I don't know. I think because I, I like I really like Anakin in the Clone Wars. 
like cartoons, but the movies, he's a little rough. But yeah, that's the only one I think can be, be more powerful than Rey at her full power. But bro, <laughs> Rey, Palpatine, Fast Skywalker beats all your favorite characters, bro. All of them. She beats Yoda, bro. Like, bro, Yoda was like equal to like Palpatine, right? Like equal to him. Or at least like, you know, and Mace Windu, again, Mace Windu could be strong or whatnot. A lot of people say that, you know, the Palpatine was like faking it or whatnot. Palpatine is the strongest he's ever been. Like by the end of this, you know, he he absorbs all the power of like Kylo and like Rey. There, and so yeah, bro. Rey, she shits on most of them. <laughs> she she beats Anakin if he's not at his like peak strength. She beats Darth Vader. She beats Luke because we don't have OP Luke in the canon. We have like Luke who's probably barely stronger than he was in the Return of the Jedi, and he's not stronger than like like Return of the Jedi Luke is not stronger than like. Darth Sidious. So, and Yoda, come on, man. He's not, Yoda was struggling against, like, you know, regular Darth Sidious. This overpowered Darth Sidious, yeah. Rey is stronger than everyone. <laughs> um, Kylo Ren, he proves to be, like, you know, on par with Rey, majority of the film. And they finally do the whole Rey and, um, uh, Rey and Kylo thing, Rey and Ben thing. I didn't know that was a thing, but, you know, I kept thinking, like, everyone's just kind of making it a thing. I thought it was going to be, like, you know, Finn, you know what I mean? And also, Finn can say, like, I have something to tell you, Ray. He never tells her. That was just, like, a drops thing. Like, I think he's going to say he loved her or he liked her or whatever, but I think that was, like, implied or whatever. It's so weird because Star Wars is always so known for that because, like, you know... Like, Luke and Leia had a thing until they made him brother and sister. And, like, it was, I was rewatching the trailers. Every trailer had them kissing. <laughs> and so, I don't know. And they, you know, they, they dropped the whole Finn and the Asian girl thing where it was a thing. And I think Finn is probably with the black chick now. But then the black chick was with, um, was, like, you know, Lando. Lando. And I feel like, I don't know why. Because, you know, uh, Lando's like, oh, let's figure out who, where you're from. I feel like Lando was trying to hit. <laughs> I feel like Lando was really trying to, you know, hit, like, uh, hit him on the black chick. <laughs> But yeah, the pacing, like, extremely fast. Like, it's just like, you know, new character after new character. Um, Poe gets like a love interest, kind of not really. And like, you know, we all think she's dead. I really thought um, Ray killed, like, you know, um, Chewie. Because, bro, every original trilogy character is dead except Lando and Chewie. And I thought Chewie was like, RIP. And I really thought the end, well, Lando's got to die. They got to kill everyone off because they're trying to make a whole new Star Wars, like, everything. So, yeah, man. So... Uh, what else can I say that's a spoil? Also, like, you know, Ben dies because, you know, whatever, I guess. It, he turns into a force ghost because it's funny how you can be an evil Hitler-like person, but laws you like, yeah, I didn't mean that. And you just, you become, a, like, you know, a force Jedi or whatever. But I feel like I have to sneeze this entire video. So, that's weird, but it is what it is. Um, what else am I missing here? You know, Finn... Finn just is, you know, loud black man number five. <laughs> he just doesn't, you know what I mean? He doesn't dare to be like, I, I understand you. Uh, I understand you, Ray. Please love me. <laughs> but it is what it is. Poe, like, but the, the thing about Ray, Finn, and Poe is that they're never really on, like, the whole best friend thing. It's always like they always at each other's necks, which is kind of weird. Like, Finn and uh, Ray feel like a genuine friendship. It feel like Poe just kind of added on there because, like, bro, you are one of the main characters, so we're going to try to make you blend in. But it doesn't feel that natural, in my opinion. So, yeah, this, de this movie's definitely, like, a 7 out of 10, bro. These, this new trilogy is not bad. Like, it's not. It's, what, it's way better than, like, you know, the new generation of most things. Like, you know, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! New generation has always been, like, kind of iffy for me. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX was, like, the last one I really cared about. Then, like, 5 Ds is all right. Then it keeps going. Pokemon, you know what I mean? Just keeps going. Um, this is better than, like, Boruto. Boruto new generation stuff. God, that stuff is boring. It's, like, no point. Um, uh, Dragon Ball Super. I actually like Dragon Ball Super. You know what I mean? So, in terms of, like, new generation, you know, trying to, like, fix up stuff. I thought this was going to be trash because a lot of my favorite YouTubers said it was going to be trash. But... Hey, got to have your own opinion, guys. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of The Rise of Skywalker. Is it trash? You know what I mean? Because I remember when I said, like, The Last Jedi was good. Then later on, the years passed, I didn't think it was that good. So, I respect, like, you know, Chris Stuckman saying that he's not going to give out, like, a, a review yet or whatnot. So, it's most likely a 7 out of 10, but I might bump it up to 8 out of 10 because I just kind of enjoy, you know, how they kind of, like, wrap things. I, I'm really disappointed, though, they didn't really bring Anakin in because Anakin's whole gimmick, because he is the main character of Star Wars, because he is Darth Vader, he is Anakin, you know, Luke is there, but, like, you know, Anakin's that guy. And he talks a little bit, you know, when she's, like, in OP, the one mode or whatever, but... That's about it. You know what I mean? That would have been really cool if we saw, like, a Force Ghost of Anakin because we see a Force Ghost of Luke. 
But I didn't want to bring in Hayden Christian because, you know, you have old-ass Luke. You have old-ass Leia. You have old-ass Han Solo. It's going to be weird if he doesn't have, like, a young Anakin there. So, yeah, I think that's, like, the main reason why. But I think it's probably going to be in the lead of scenes or whatnot. So, yeah. Um, I'm really glad that he was able to, you know, to redeem Kylo, I guess. You know what I mean? Because in later comics, we figured out that Kylo really didn't kill all the Jedi. It was Palpatine who did it or something. And, you know, in the whole, like, you know... Oh, like, uh, Snoke thing? Just forget about it, bro. Snoke is just there. He, you know what I mean? He's a clone or whatever, you know, because pretty much just blame, like, you know, Ryan Johnson for that. And Ryan Johnson's a great director and great writer. Just for this, he just effed up. Everyone F's up. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Star Wars video is going to be coming soon, like, you know, rankings or whatnot. I have to sneeze. <laughs> okay, hopefully I cut that, probably. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. More videos are going to be coming out soon. Sun to Jot, Pe Sun to Jot Peace. Love you all.